photo director brings something very unique to the table. An easy way to create razor sharp photos from any video footage. We're all taking a lot more videos these days, with high res video capture devices sitting conveniently in our pockets when we're out and about. We often capture a moment in a video that would have made a great photo, and now with Photo Director, extracting that moment and using it in a number of innovative ways is very simple. The new Video to Photo feature can be found in the File drop down menu. Click on it to import the video from which you want to extract stills. You can then select what you want to do with the video. Let's start off by capturing video frames as new photos. Hit the play button to play the video. You can pause at any time and also advance through the footage frame by frame. When you find the frames you want to capture, click the blue shutter button. The captured frames appear on the right. When you're done, click go to library and select a destination folder for the new stills. Then click import. Your still images from the video are now available to adjust, edit and enhance in the same way you would with any other image. Follow the same import process as above, but select Create a multi-exposure photo. You then capture the images you want to use in the photo as before. After selecting the destination folder and importing the photos into Photo Director, the image stills will be opened in the multi-exposure designer. Your photos will be automatically added to the photo viewer window. Just hit Start. Next, select which background from the photos in your sequence you want to use as a base. To work effectively, all the photos need to have a very similar background, so this feature works best where the camera is relatively still and the object is moving across the screen. After that, drag and resize the selection box over the object you want to track. When you're done, hit the check mark. Photo Director will then automatically detect and select the same object in all the stills. You can adjust these manually if needed. Next, click Merge. You now have your multi-exposure image. You can further tweak it by reducing the number of frames involved or by fading the sequence in or out. From the four video to photo options, select Create a Panorama Photo. Use the shutter button to capture the stills you want to use in the panorama image from the video. Import the images, then click Merge at the next step, as for the multi-exposure creation. Photo Director will automatically stitch the images into a seamless panorama image. If needed, adjust the selection box so that it doesn't extend into the black areas. Next, click Auto Fill Boundary to complete the full image. Again, from the Video to Photo option box, choose Create a Perfect Group Shot. Next, snap the stills you want to use. Now select which of the photos has the best background to use as a base for the final image. Click Merge. At the next step, you can click on each of the faces to select the best instance from all the stills you captured to use in the final composite image. Just pick the one you want and click OK. And of course, any of the photos you create with the new Video to Photo feature can be further enhanced and adjusted using any of PhotoDirector's huge range of other features.